Hello, good afternoon. Welcome back to part two. This is part two of the um, transfer window special, where you left us off last. We 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 haven't hit the transfer window just yet, but we've obviously made a few signings and gone for a few players as well. So if we just look at this. We just scroll down. So we've signed a few released young players. Obviously, um, we managed to get Hoyland back on loan. Oh no, that's last. Sorry, that's last season. Anyway, but we have got him back on loan, but it's, it's not come up yet. It will come up though when we start the transfer window. Managed to sign a few young players. Uh, we've signed this player here as well on a free, pretty good player, um, South American centre back, which we love to see. Skillful players in the Scottish Premiership. Stephen Welsh has signed on a permanent deal. We've signed former Sheffield Wednesday midfielder Liam Shaw who will be a good uh, backup option for, for like Fleck and that. Um, Tom Lawrence we've also signed as well. He'd be very good uh, on the wings and stuff. Um, transfers out. Just check if there's any that you've, we've not, no, nah, literally other than him. That's it really. So you haven't really missed much, but we'll just have a quick look at transfer history. And then we'll look at, uh, future transfers so obviously we've got a few young players coming in that were released from former club uh, their former clubs uh, Warner's coming in for 20,000 we've got uh, this player called uh, Manish Manish yeah Manish Billy I'm just going to call him Billy um, very good young French fullback so hopefully that's a sign of things to come for us when it comes to recruitment we sign in Kyle Joseph as well. Cap by Scotland? No, not Cap by Scotland yet. I apologise. I said last episode he was Cap by Scotland. Got that wrong. Um, we've signed this player here, Yuchi. Yuchi Ikpiezu, who has a proven track record. As, well, no, he doesn't. What am I on about? I thought he scored loads. But he, I think he's a target forward. From, yeah, target forward. So he'd be a good option to have if we're struggling in games and we need a big... A big guy up front to, you know, get on the headers. We signed our former player, former goalkeeper. We're signing him, Dabrowski, just because I love the man. Uh, I want to bring back. Uh, I'll have a look in a sec. I'll see if I can bring him back now. We've got we're signing this player here on a free transfer, Azim Abdulau Adoué, who's a Scottish player. Um, so he looks like a good prospect. We're signing former Forest Greens right back, but he's very versatile, can play in a lot of positions. So that's good. So the board, the scouts saying it'd be a terrific signing. So that's always good that the scouts are happy with him. We've also got this guy here called Fermin, who used to play for Granada and all these other teams here. So yeah. So we'll have the left back position quite. Uh, the fullback position will be boosted with these two signings. And then we've signed Thomas Ince as well. Um, but yeah, just before I forget, I want to... I want to see if I can sign Collins Faye back. A player that I had to sell last season because of work permit issues. I'm hoping to bring him back just for the fact that I just like having him at the club. So we'll see. He probably won't come to us because apparently he's only just joined their new club, even though it was 12 months ago when he signed for him. Or it was at least six months ago. You'd think he'd be all right to leave. But yeah, anyway, we'll look to bring him back at some point. But yeah, we're coming towards the start of the window now. I don't think we'll be signing anybody else unless the DOF um, signs anybody. Just welcome the new signings quickly. I mean, some people probably don't bother with this, but it gives the players a slight boost in morale, so that's the reason why I do it. Makes them feel welcome as well. Oh, clicked on the wrong thing there. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, they're not too happy about Kerr Robinson. Which I can understand because maybe he was probably not a good signing at all, but we'll send him out on loan. Uh, they're not happy about Kieran Wilcox as well. 
So when I signed them, they said they had like three and a half, four star potential. But um, sorry, when I was signing them, when the scout reports initially come up, it was like three and a half, four stars. So that's why I signed them. But at least he's at least he's still got potential to be a really good player. And then when you sign them, they don't always necessarily come back as that. All right, there we go. So we've got we've improved on the striker front. So we've got two really good backups in case Hoyland gets injured or he doesn't come back after his loan deal. So yeah, we're setting records for transfer fees and stuff like that. I don't think he's ever going to play for us at this point, Scott McHill, but we'll send him out on loan anyway. Uh, we'll send you out on loan as well. Get as many of our young players out on loan. Get them first team experience. Hopefully they'll come back a better player for us. Right, we've had an offer for Maldini. I feel like we can get a little bit more than that, so we'll just no. Oh uh, well, we balls up on that one. All right, Nicky Devlin's not gone to us. He's gone to Queens Park, which is a bit confusing because where's Queens Park? They're in League One. They're two divisions below us. What's going on there? That's a weird one. Right, Arn has gone out on loan. Hopefully he'll do well. He did well for us when he when he played last season, so hopefully he's got a future here. He's a good signer. Thing is we've got we've got too many players in them positions as it is. Uh yeah, he'd be a very good signing for us. Right, no, we're not selling him, so nice try though. He's had more appealing options, okay, fair enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to offer you that. And if that doesn't work, then I don't know what will. Right, we've got Jamie Forrest in, so that's good. Another experienced player. Played well for Celtic over the years. Played less and less as he got older, but, you know, still decent player for us, I think. Can do a job and he's already sacked his agent which is weird uh let's put him in the mentoring group hopefully there we go right anti me montgomery yep i'll sign you i like a freebie if it doesn't work out we'll just sell you pele no you're not good enough oh, if, if only you were the real pele Right, Angus Wilson's gone on loan to Peters Hill for three months. Why only three months? I do not know. So, no, I'm going to sign him on a new contract. I'm not. I'm going to ignore what the director of football is recommending to me. Don't be greedy, Delhi. Come on. There we go. Probably be our biggest way uh, on our biggest, probably earning the most money at the club. But like I said, he is my good luck charm. We'll just change the recruitment focuses. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll get we'll take off Maldini off the transfer list. I think I was a bit rash in getting rid of him at the moment. I think he'd be all right for Scottish Premiership, to be honest. If he does well and we get a decent offer for him, we can sell him then and make some money on him. Yeah, Ruse has done really well. He deserves a new contract. Uh, Cameron Bell, we made we tried to sign him before, but he had an injury, so we'll sign him again. Hopefully, he's recovered from his injury now. 
What's the wage? Can we see what offer they've offered him in wage? No, we can't. Well, he'll probably go to Huddersfield, to be honest. Dan Casey's a good player. We'll add him to the shortlist. Yeah, you'll do. Right, they've made an improved offer. Uh, we'll declare interest. It's a top target. Hopefully that'll help. Hopefully we'll, we'll bring him in because he's a really good player. Especially for the Scottish Premiership. He did really well. at. He, he was a good player for Aberdeen in real life, I think. What I remember. Uh, we've rejected off loan offers here. Why? Fringe player, that's why. Okay, right. Send him out again and we'll just do fringe player. I'm sick of these players. Look, 66 grand again. They always seem to just offer stupid amounts of money for a talented young player that I've got. I know it's the Scottish League, but they've got more money now because of this file. They shouldn't be offering me poor amounts of more money. Rising young players. Very frustrating. Shouldn't be this slow going through these processing through the days. Victor Lotari. Yep, I like a freebie. Nice to have some North American players. Maybe that help with merchandise and getting exposure in North America, maybe. You never know. In real life, that would happen. It doesn't happen as much on FM. Deli Ali signs a new contract, which is good. Hold on. I swear I just saw something that worried me. Ah, oh, for God's sake, he's got a bloody pay rising. Ugh. We've got to be careful with that. That's going to have to chuck it all in the... There we go, we'll leave that there. Uh... Right. Hopefully, we might be able to convince the board to give us some more money for transfers eventually. What's with the poor offers for Mason? We've signed him on a new contract, haven't we? Oh, no, we haven't. Well, that'll put them off, hopefully. Right, we signed Montgomery on a free. Good little right back, Scottish player as well. Still had all these reject. Ah, uh, okay, hold on there. Right, let's try one more time and then we'll just do this. And we'll do zero, 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 zero. Now, hopefully that'll work. I just wanted to get first team experience. But it'd be a better player then. Right, coming towards the beginning of pre season. Frankie Kent, uh, add him the shortlist he would be good but we've got loads of players in the positions I think at this point I don't think we need to improve oh he'd be a good player former Arsenal youth player yes please improves what we have I reckon because Fleck ain't going to be able to play forever um, ah, that's a shame Clarkson's gone to Huddersfield which we were expecting anyway Hopefully you'll do well there. Sorry about that. Just had to move my laptop, adjust my leg because I was getting cramp. Right. There you go. Keeps them happy. Kelly Ruse has signed a new contract. Uh, 
Oh, this is really annoying now. Why are you... Why are they getting rejected for? They shouldn't be rejected. I'm going to try one last time here. And we're going to do this. And we're going to do Fringe Player. This better work this time. If it doesn't work this time, I don't know what I don't know what to do. Right, Wilcox has gone on loan. Good luck to you, my friend. We've gained a small reputation boost, which is what the board wanted. Yep, sign him. He's coming in probably the first of July. Mason's gone on loan. Good luck to you, my friend. He rejects us to go to Clyde. Where are Clyde? League 2? Why are we getting players rejecting us? For League bloody 2 in Scotland? We're in the Scottish Premiership. Maybe maybe he knew he weren't going to be playing first team football and that's what he needs. Right, let's just have a look at this rule changes. Players cannot play competitive games for more than two clubs between that and that and that. That's fine. Transfer windows, like, uh, it's the same. Everything's the same by the looks of it. That's not changes at all. Right, so they just want us to avoid relegation, which is fine. Uh, we want to extend your contract, but I just signed a new contract. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy to get a new contract with you. You could up my wages. Need to build an extension on my house. Oh, for God's sake, why are you still offering me? There you go, five million you can have him. There we go. Hopefully that'll put them off. Oh, Cole's not happy. You can speak to the DOF this time. Oh, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Receive 10 grand for Premiership TV rights. That's really bad, that is. They must have ballsed up on that editor file, I think. Hold on, is that the... Oh, actually, no, that's the... It's this, isn't it? Premier t Premiership TV? That's not the Scottish Premiership, is it? That's... Is it this? Is it the this Premier Cup competition? Oh, I don't know. It might be. It might be, it might be this. It might be the Premiership. Oh, my God. We've had offers. Why are we getting loan? Why are we rejecting loan? Fine, he's staying here. I don't care. I can't, I can't get my head around that. Right, Premier Sports Cup. Pointless competition, but oh well, it is what it is. Basically a glorified friendly tournament, isn't it? Okay, so we've got Arbroath, Calden, uh, Calden Beef. I probably pronounced that wrong. I feel like I pronounced that wrong. East Five and Peterhead. Right, we're coming towards the pre-season. We've got a few players coming in from England and abroad. We're going to be signing for us soon. Just in time to play our first friendly against Lincoln. Right, hopefully that will appeal will come in our favour we get two grand for the Baldy deal there you go I don't mind signing Baldy back let me see if I can sign him back oh he's really good I just sold I'm doing an offline Derby County save at the moment and I just sold him in my third season in charge with Derby for 15 million uh, if I had the money, I would sign him, but I don't. Max Power. How much? I bet he's on a decent wage. He was the one of the first. I oh know he's not really. He was one of the first players to go to play in Saudi Arabia. 
before it become popular. He'd be a good player to sign, Scottish international. So if I get the money, I want to try and prioritise Dykes and Sibley, if I can. If I do get some sort of tra more of a transfer budget at any point. But high, looking highly unlikely at the moment. Right, have we got any clauses we cash up? No. Okay, Moldy. We'll have to walk away from this, I think, because uh, we'll we'll finalise it. We'll see what happens. We'll see if the but the board might let us uh, adjust the budgets. We might have to look at getting selling a few players now. I'm going to check each position, and if it, if we were a bit overstocked in certain positions I might then try and sell or release them just to get the wage budget down especially if they've been there a while and they've been and they're, and they're quite old even though I do have uh, I think for older players I do like to have older players in the clubs but let's see we'll wait for these to join first but yeah thanks as always for following and watching I hope you're enjoying it um I Twitch stream as well, so twitch.tv, Um I was meant to be on there on Monday, but I wasn't very well. But I end up um, playing some TW2020, um, 2020, sorry. TW is basically the wrestling version of Football Manager. So I did a bit of that on, uh, uh, on Tuesday, sorry. So I did that a bit on Tuesday. I uh, didn't do anything on Wednesday. Chilled out. And then today um, I shall be Twitch streaming again. Doing a Barcelona save where I'm basically bringing all the old boys back. Like, uh, I brought Messi back, Jordi Alba back, Sergio Busquets back. Sergio Gomez is back. Luis Suarez is back there as well. Sergio Roberto's there. Ori, I sold Ori Romero and Sergio Roberto and brought him back. So um, I've sold Anzu Fassi with the aim of bringing him back at some point. Oh. Right. Um, sorry about that. I thought it was a bit disgusting hearing me doing that. Still haven't got rid of this bloody coal. Right. Oh, they won't let us increase next season's budget, which is fair enough. These are the two requests that you never, they very rarely agree to. So I don't even know why I'm trying. Oh, we're not doing very well financially, are we? In literally last episode, we were on the verge of making 200 million. And now by the looks of it, we're going to be minus 16 million. So that's not good. Ah, <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It doesn't bother me if I was doing this offline because I'd just be on the internet looking on the internet for all, at all sorts of different things. Nothing dodgy before you start assuming. Um I'm usually on the side games forums all the time nothing exciting but because I'm having to concentrate because I'm having to create content I have to just literally stare at the screen until it changes and I don't have very I don't have much patience there we go anyway right new sign-ins are in and we'll just give them a little welcome Mr. Rafe Rovers Lewis Vaughan and Dominic Ball. <laughs> He's very good signing, Thomas Ince. Uh Decent enough. Decent signing. Good signing, according to the scouts and that. 
very good sign in, in potentially. He could be a very good player for us. Right. Okay, he didn't call, just wants to leave. So I'm just sick of him. He's going. I'm sick. Literally for the last... The whole time I've been here, he's just been moaning all the time about leaving. So I'm just... He's just going to go. We'll take 30% of your next transfer though. He looks like a good player in the making. We're just going to... Thank him for oh okay here we go oh, okay fine whatever we won't we won't oh, okay probably because you have actually not been doing very well in training I can understand why I don't know why it was telling me to to praise you though <laughs> I can't wait to get rid of Dylan Corey he's been nothing but bloody pain in the bum. You're out the door, mate. Sad enough. Should have got rid of him at the ages ago. Oh no, we've got another match. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. We really need to look at things like this when I'm going through contracts and stuff like that. They're not happy. Right, whatever. Let's change your back. Important player. There we go. Happy days. Right. We really need to cut back on wages now, don't we? Yeah. 50 grand. We need to get rid of 50 grand's worth of players. Let's look at contracts for a second. Uh, we've only got two players on 30. I oh, know, hold on. Let me just... And then we've got three players. I'm so sorry about my nose. Right, Dander's going to have to go. He has been a good player for us, but we need to get this wage budget down. Uh, I like Lopez, but he's old. Oh, I don't how did he do last season? I've got a feeling he won't he won't be as good this season, so I'm gonna get rid of him while I can. Hopefully we can get a decent clause in there as well so we can cash that in to help. Maldini would leave, but he's injured now for about five to actually we'll try. We're not going to get much for him though, are we? In fact, no, we won't do it. Uh, Muskry, no. Gail Kinder, yeah, we can get rid of you because we've got better players now. And if clubs are interested in you, then it's best just to cash in on you. No, we won't get rid of Dominic Ball. Enrique, we'll get rid of you. Right, anybody else? Graham Burke, you're old, you can go. He did well for us, but yeah, we need to get rid of you. Uh, we get rid of Jack Hamilton as well. Yeah, we'll just cash in on him. Right, see how we get on with them. Hopefully that all... We've got 100% of transfers, so hopefully that will mean... Um, my nose is irritating me. I need to blow my nose, but I haven't got any tissues near me. Um, yeah, we've got 100% of any transfers that we make, so we can chuck all that in the wage budget. Yeah, that's fine. I guess we'll have to accept them even though they're a bit rubbish. 
Won't bother with the lone ones. And then we uh Actually, we'll accept that one. Reject that one. Reject that one. So hopefully, it'll go to Russia. Yep, we'll accept that one. That's a decent deal for him, actually, to be honest. Do we want him back on loan? Why would you buy him off us and then send him back to us on loan? I mean, it seems like a win-win, really. We don't have to pay any wages for him, so we might as well. Right, appeal. There we go. Okay, so we'll just have to do that for now. Delay it until we've sold a few players. Hopefully we can bring him in there. Uh, appeal, hopefully. Right, Bonner, bring in as our new under-19s manager. Not a very good player potential, but at least he's good working with youngsters. Maybe this will have to be a free part of our looks of it. Maybe I'll have to... Um, what I'm going to do, I think. I'll just convince him. So, after all that, nobody bloody wants you. They just want you on loan. Alright. I'm glad we didn't go for him. He's got terrible attributes. Yeah, so what I might do is... This will be part two, and then we'll do part three. Um, let's do this friendly first. I'll see how long it is. Yeah, because we've only just started pre season. So I'm going to end this now. I'm going to save this now as well. Um, thank you, everyone, as always, for watching along. Hopefully, next episode will be the end of the transfer window, and we can start playing a few games. So yeah, thanks as always. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.